Welcome back to Vegas Live with Ninon. I have Steve Krasner with me. Um, as you know, Vegas, of course we're in Vegas, um, Vegas has a lot of um, producers and directors and actors and entertainers and music people, you name it, they've got it. So what do you call Vegas? You call Vegas the entertainment city of the world. Is, right. Isn't that what it is? Right. Isn't Steve good looking? Eh? He's young and good Thank looking. You. And, and I'm not going to say you're one of the new producers in town, but you're producing in town as well as acting. Mm -hmm. So you're taking on the full gamut <laughs> right. of Las Vegas, because that's what it is. How's it going for you? It's going good. Uh, I started making my own films. Uh, I started out doing uh, background acting when I had movies filmed in Vegas. Yeah. So if you ever watch a movie in Vegas, I'm probably in the background. And then I started uh, just writing and directing my own films. So you got the inspiration from being in the background <coughs> and you sort of watching what that is. That's what I want to do. I know. I got tired of nobody giving me a job, so I just <laughs> I just made I create my own create job. my own job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in creating something um, as a producer, director, it is very hard in the world. Never mind Vegas. In the world, it's very, very hard to get yourself into it, only because there's so many people out there that, that have this creative mind. Um, how's it going for you? Are you doing okay? Or? It's going good. I, um, I've been lucky enough that the Las Vegas film community is a uh, small community. Yes, so it it's a they have a lot of help. A lot of people always give good advice and l always willing to help. And you've got the right questions for them. Mm -hmm. Now you said we met on the red carpet or something. The first time we met, I think it was uh, I did a small role on a one of the Mahal films, uh, oh, yeah, Bus the Party Mahal. to Hell. Yeah, oh, Bus Party to Hell. Yeah, that was a fabulous movie. I know. So you, yeah, I remember meeting I, on the red carpet. Yeah, absolutely. I probably interviewed you. Um, I think they're on to their third one now, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Is it the third? Yeah, they're doing. Yeah, they're doing, they're very, doing very well. So I try to learn from them. I try to learn from all the filmmakers in now, Vegas. Do they? Do you ever work for somebody else as a as a director or producer? On, uh, in any uh, mostly as an actor. Mostly as an there. actor. Yeah. When it, so, what are you pursuing more now, the acting or the producing? Well, the producing is great because I can make my own, my own material, no. uh, produce my own scripts. Uh, I so I completed one film uh, about a couple of years ago called Class Acts. Okay. We took it to the Silver State Film Festival. We won Best Comedy. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're you're comedic. You do comedy stuff. More, yeah, more of the comedy comes in. Like that. It. Everybody needs a good laugh. That's for sure. We can't yeah. always be so serious, I can need, we? Yeah, exactly. You know, the, the days are getting very serious, and we can't live that way. Exactly. So, wh why do you do comedy? Is that your sort of? It's definitely uh, easy for me, and it's definitely my kind of feel like my neat, my way in. Uh, I'd like to do more serious stuff, but right now I'm going <coughs> to stick to comedy. Actually, I think that in this town you've got so many comedians that you could actually do kind of a documentary on on comedians in this town. Have you ever thought of that? It's a good idea. I've definitely See, met and a I've lot of. I've given him a good idea now because there's so many. In fact, I think they have a community or they have a membership thing for the comedians. Wouldn't that be great? It is great. I've definitely met a lot of comedians in Las Vegas, and it's, it's they're just and they're fabulous. They're, they're the best to work with. They it's are. definitely yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I never realized that a lot goes behind the scenes of a comedian of how they have to perform and what they have to do and and how people actually um, they don't even have a script. They'll just walk on stage and do it from the audience. Yeah, they're very good at uh, improv and just just a excellent. Uh, off the top of their head. They I are. wish I was like them. I'm not that. I'm not that quick. So, what is your thing? What What do you think when you look at yourself and you see, um, you know, what do you really think about yourself as to what you do best? Uh, what I've done and what I've loved done the last couple of years is just uh, direct and and produce movies. Um, the first one was received well, really well. I got two short ones. One of them was also at a film festival. And right now, I'm writing. Uh, a third uh, high school movie. A high school movie. Yeah. Is it going to be a little bit funny? A little bit. It's going to be very funny. He it's, likes to go on the funny side. I, like I love be... that. I love that. Mm -hmm. So right now we're almost. I'm almost done with the script, and I'm trying to reach out to investors and producers too. How long does it take to write? Um, and then you say a document. Is it a documentary? It's a, it's a comedy. That uh, is a comedy. Yeah, yeah. A short comedy. Yeah. When you say short comedy, how long is that? So I did one feature that was an hour, over an hour, two wow. short films, okay. 30 minutes each. Okay. And for this new coming film, it'll probably be an hour and a half. I don't know. Oh, it's a real full yeah, yeah. comedy. Mm -hmm. oh, how do you, <laughs> how do you write, a, a, you know, you've got to write more than an hour and a half. Yeah. Because then you have to cut it down and yeah. get rid of all the things that aren't funny and put things in that are funny. <laughs> it's it's a, lot, a long process. Um, 
Do you get yourself? Do you, do you actually get yourself talking to comedians to to get ideas and to see? Or do you go to their shows to get ideas and different things like that? I hang, I try to hang out with a lot of comedians, a lot of funny people, and I especially uh, working with kids and making high school films. A lot of high school kids oh. are so funny. Oh, I love that. I work, with, I work with kids for 16 years. I know that they're, they're, they have my back. I love the younger generation. I love the young generation. Teenagers and, are hilarious. And the funny thing is, is, is a teenager will come come over totally natural, not realizing they're funny or what they are. And if you can get that and film it, even if you have to cut, you know, whatever you cut. So do you get Absolutely. to schools? A lot of high school, uh, I, I know a lot of high school, I work with a lot of high school kids, and uh, a lot of it I just based off them. Just, off them, off, yeah, them, off yeah, what they do and off what their they characters, do, yeah, their yeah, characters yeah. and who they are. Um, what about bullying? Do you ever bring that into it as a, you know? Uh, yeah, and I always try to take it seriously but funny at the same time, yes. you know? Yeah. I always say about bullies, fight back. You know, I don't care what they're fighting with you on. Just fight back, even if it's only with words. Absolutely. But don't sit back and take it. Don't ever, ever sit back and take it. Fight back and do what you need to do. Because we're all human. Not everybody can get on with everybody. And not everybody is the same as everybody. Yeah. Thank goodness. Right. Yeah, Thank yeah. goodness. So what have you got coming up? Anything? Um, I did mm -hmm. a, an acting role on one of the Mahal films, The Bridge of the Doom. Okay. Uh, and then a few other projects, but mostly focus on this new high school comedy. I'll play a summer a subs a summer school teacher in charge of the high school. So you're the, the teacher. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So yeah. he's an actor. He's putting himself in the lead part. Cool. Absolutely. If, yeah, no, if nobody else would do it, you've got to do it yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I love that because, you know, yeah, yeah. I'll make my own movie and put myself in there yeah. and I'm going to be the lead. I can't fire myself. So that's <laughs> no, you can't. Well, you could, but then you can rehire. Yeah. You yeah, yeah, yeah. come back on again. <laughs> How can anybody reach you, Steve? Right now, I'm on uh, Instagram and Facebook, uh, Mr. Guy Studios. That's my production company. Oh, wonderful. Mr. Guy Studios. I like that. Mm -hmm. The first film, we're trying to get it out. So it's uh, we're trying to get it to a sales rep. And then the two short films are on YouTube. Okay. Mm -hmm. so Stephen Krasner or Mr. Guy Studios? Stephen Krasner, don't forget that name. It's an up and coming name. He's uh, won and he's succeeded and he's going where he's going. Do you have a 100% focus what you want? Absolutely. Good. I try to make goals and every day just try to pursue them. Pursue them and do them and everything else. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about everybody else out there. Just worry about yourself because nobody else is going to do it. Exactly. That's why he makes his own movies and does his own stuff. Wish you'll be right back. Vegas Live with Ninon. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. We'll be back. Let's be honest. What are we going to do if we don't get into college? We don't have any rep. Ooh, what do you mean? It means we can't get girls. Everybody say hi to Daniel. We're going to my father's church. You guys can come if you want. It's a gold mine. All these chicks are so hot. You're trying to bang them, aren't you? Yes, yes I am. Very clever. I know, right? <sighs> you guys are such delinquents. If I find you guys doing one more prank on school grounds, you're getting suspended. This school has been screwing us over for years, and now they're just going to kick us to the curb. You know what? I'm going to write a statement. And I'm going to take your dolls that you've been hiding in your desk. Now we've got to go all out on this guy. If you enjoyed the last show we just did and all the other shows, don't forget to subscribe Vegas Live with Ninon on YouTube. We've got plenty more coming up and our guests are amazing. So don't forget to subscribe. We'll be right back. Vegas Live with Ninon.